Uh, these are the pro cables. This is the 11 pin to 11 pin that will be used with the mechanical impedance probe, the probe. This is the 11 pin to 8 pin probe that will be used with the pitch catch probes. And this is the 11 pin connector that will be used with the residence probes. Here's an example of the 8 pin on the residence probe. I mean, excuse me, on the pitch catch probes. This is an example of the Hershey connector on the resonance probes. And this is the connector on the mechanical impedance or meter probe. The handle allows you to tilt the 3100 into a position to allow the inspector to pass the view for inspection. To adjust the handles, we have two screws on the side that we loosen, we bring out, and we can adjust as necessary. There's one lock place, there's the other, there's one more. We lock it down, and it's in the position for inspection. All of the cables plug in, there is a dot, and then the dot is forward, or in the front, and the probe plugs in is like that. To unplug, grab the barrel, pull forward, there's a positive lock, it lets you know that the probe is probe cable is now in place. One of the features of the 3100 is automatic probe recognition. It will recognize all of the probes that are built for the unit by NDT systems. We can use other Stavely type probes, but they do not have the probe recognition characteristics in them. We have to do another step. But for our probes, basically is that when you turn the gauge on, you'll have a select probe menu that appears on the bottom of the screen. I select auto probe. I can hit enter. At this time it says no probe connected or press enter to select. Um, if we were using a probe that does not have the probe recognition characteristics built into the probe, we would hit enter and then select within the menu that we have or in this case for the probes that we have for this order they all have probe recognition this particular one is an L3330 by simply plugging it into the connector you see that uh, it says probe 330 select setup we have two selections to make uh, a default setting which sets uh, the gauge to all the factory defaults or the last setting of the gauge. This is where uh, a setting or a setting was done with the gauge without saving that setting. You can go back to the last setting that the gauge saw with this probe. This is true with all the different probes. For every probe you select it will have a default and last setting. The last setting will be the last setup used for that particular probe that you're using. Here's another example of uh, automatic probe recognition using the 11 pin to 8 pin connector that we'll use with our pitch catch probes. By simply plugging in the pitch catch probe, this particular pitch catch probe, use this one, is the PCHS31. When we plug it in again, immediately pops on the screen is uh, probe PCSH31, so the probe is recognized. It asks us to either look at the default settings or the last settings use with this probe on this gauge. One other thing to note, anytime that you unplug a probe, you'll see that no probes connected uh, comes back on the screen. I can s s plug another probe in. This is the PCM S31 probe and again up on the screen it says PCM S31 defaults or last settings. And as we unplug, 
It's no problem.